Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I am doing a collab here with a great group of ladies and I hope you go and check out all of them. I will most likely be talking about them in this video considering I hardly ever do that and I, I need to. I should because there's the people that I collab with are amazing, okay? And I could not have asked for a better group to do this with. Now this was an idea that originated from Brianna from Purple, Pink, and Red. Brianna, you know how much I love you and adore you. So, unfortunately, there is a makeup company out there closing, out, well, out here in this world closing, and it is Blush Tribe Cosmetics. I've never ordered anything from Blush Tribe, so I'm going to be creating a look off of inspiration that somebody has done from Blush Tribe. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. The person that I chose was a an Instagram channel called Luna Faye Beauty. Her name is Kayla. I'll show a picture of what I will be trying to do today. She, I love Kayla so much for her, all of her makeup looks. Her just aura for me is amazing. She does like I said, amazing makeup looks. What am I trying to say? <laughs> I love her style. I love her earrings, from, from her earrings to her makeup to her hair to her outfits. I just think she's amazing. Do I ever think she's going to watch this? No. But am I going to tell her about it? Yes. <laughs> so, and I'm going to post it on Instagram. If you don't follow me already, I'm going to link my Instagram and hers. I highly recommend her. She has over 103,000 subscribers. I'm going to actually take the picture that she chose for her. She made 90,000 subscribers February 10th and it's March and she's already at 103. She's amazing and I'm, I'm telling you guys, she's just, oh. She's, oh, I love it. I love her makeup looks. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. Now uh, you can see that there's a lot of pan in here. I'm trying to use it up. <laughs> Possibly completely, don't know. I haven't decided yet. So I am going to zoom in on the picture for you and let's see. Let's start with the inner portion of the top here. I'm going to go ahead and only do one eye on camera and the other eye off camera because I already have to do my base. I might as well just come back and show you guys the rest of it. This is going to be a long video, so and I haven't even started it, and it's three minutes in. Shoot. So, chill with me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here. I call it mac and cheese shade. I just dipped into it a few times and then I'm going to dip in once to that yellow. Now she said that she used the Blush Tribe Pastel Pastel Tribe palette. So just tap that off just a little bit and put that in my innermost crease right up here and just blend it. And then hers looks a little more orange than mine does, so I'm just going to dip back into that mac and cheese color a little bit more. And then, once that is all laid down, I'm going to actually dip into this top corner as color as well. I'm just using the same brush. I'm the only one that uses this makeup palette. I'm panning it. Come on now. And I don't care if the colors mix. Sometimes it makes it better, so... Uh, let's see. Okay, so Blush Tribe, unfortunately, is closing. I hate that I have to witness a makeup company closing. I hate it. I hate it when that happens. It's almost like I, you, I want the best for everybody in general, but when a company closes, because I am a business student, I feel it just that much harder. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just... Oh, it's so unfortunate. And I'm very, very sad that they're closing, especially since I never got anything from them. So, since that is already laid down on top of that mac and cheese color, 
I'm going to continue the orange out but make it more deep in the center right here like it is in the picture. It looks like a gradient, which I love. I love, love, love a gradient. So I'm going to physically press it down to make it look as orange as possible and then shade it out, shade it out, whatever, <laughs> blend it out, come on. I can't, I can't function. By the way, I hope you all are doing well. I, my county was just like quarantined or like the official quarantine came in for our county like a few days ago, so. Okay, so this is looking a little more orange than I want to, so I'm gonna dip back into that mac and cheese shade and that yellow to make it a little lighter. Just like that. Okay. Can you guys see that it's lighter in there? I hope so. Hi. My camera's off. Okay. So now uh, on the outer corner, it looks like there's pink there. So, it, or like a pinkish purple. So I'm going to go ahead and take a different brush only because I don't want that pink and purple to mix with the orange. So I'm going to take this top pink right here and lord knows if I can hit pan on that by the end of this year I'm gonna be a happy camper <laughs> because it is so difficult to work with to try and use oh my goodness if I can just hit pan on it okay so that I'm just going back and forth back and forth. I'm looking at the photo and then I'm coming back to my eye. So this is a little too too pink. So and I gotta wipe down this brow a little bit. There we go. Okay, so change of plan. <laughs> I'm going to use this shade right here. and go over where I place that pink just to get a little more purple. There we go. So I'm trying not to blend it in too much with that orange, which I'm now looking at the picture, zooming in more, and I see that there's a little bit of red. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush that I used for my eye primer and dip into this red. Redda, redda, and just put that in between this pink and the orange. Yes. And then take the orange brush and just go like this, hoping, hoping to fade out the line just a little bit. Hoping not too much, and then I'm just gonna go straight in and blend it all together. Now I'm not a makeup artist. Do I know if this is what she did? Probably, absolutely not. But <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Oh, and I've been doing the crease the entire time when she took it all the way down. So give me a moment to catch up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am all cut up. The only thing that I did that you guys didn't see was I also added this more lilac -y shade against this this color just to bring out that it really is pink rather than a red because it, between the red and this shade it was just looking a little too reddish purple and I didn't want that because considering the picture is more pink so with all of that being said Let's go ahead and start with the inner corner. Now, I'm gonna need more brushes. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, with how many colors and everything I needed, I felt like I needed to bring my brushes here with me, so I brought all of them in all of its glory. I just cleaned them all yesterday. So, this is literally all of them <laughs> in their glory. So, with the picture, I 
see that there is some green underneath right here in the inner corner. So I'm going to take this light green right here and place that right here. And I'm just pressing it instead of blending it only because I, <laughs> I'm a spring chicken and I already have under eye wrinkles. Yes, spring chicken. Yay. And just push that in right there. Okay, so it's this green, and then it looks like it goes into this green and then blue. Does that make sense? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see it. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it. Do you see what I see? <laughs> So I'm just doing just a little tap because it doesn't look like there's too much of this shade. Okay, so wipe this down. Wipe, I'm wiping this off on a paper towel. And I'm going to dip into this shade, this shade, this shade. Let's do both. Let's do a little boop boop and a little boop boop. There a boop, there a boop, everywhere boop boop. Old MacDonald had a farm. This is what happens when you're on quarantine. Okay, there you go. So there's that. Now what I see on the picture is that she has orange also right here underneath her hairline. So I'm going to go ahead and do obviously my other eye, my base makeup, and I'll be back with you guys for blush and all that shenanigans. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I just wanted to show you this part because I felt like it was important. <laughs> I do have fake freckles on right now. They're not going to look like this here in a minute. Please bear with me. But I'm going to take this Super Shock Cheek Matte Formula Colourpop um, Matte Formula Colourpop Super Shock sh It's It's a blush. Super Shock Cheek Super Duper Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's by the ColourPop Bretman Rock Collection. Clearly, you hear me struggling over, over it and about it. But I felt like this was really important to the look because it's this beautiful orange blush. I put faux freckles on before this because I was hoping that they would not disappear when I put this on but clearly they are disappearing so I'm going to do more of them here in a second but I wanted to go ahead and put this blush on all over my face because this is kind of an inspired look and if I'm going to do the inspired look I'm going to try and create the entire thing so this is just how I do my blush or how I've been doing my blush recently and then let me see are any of my faux freckles still there a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and put them back on. I've been using my cream gel liner that I have been rarely using on my eyes, so I'm just putting those freckles back on. Hopefully they will be there by the time I put on my foundation. That's the hope anyway. So I just put them all over my face. Just... Just like that, and then I'm going to go into my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I like to put on my blush before my foundation, so it really gives this subtle sheen underneath, and it's just amazing. Did I say that this was in the shade 110? Because if I didn't, now I am. So, this is just how I've been using up my foundation. Made a lot of it. <laughs> Especially to cover up all this orange blush. 
So I'm just tapping that in. And I feel like this sponge that I got from a giveaway from Riri, Drawers of Rain, I will link that above if you want to see. Well, all I got, I got so much stuff. It was so great. I was so happy the entire time. Okay, so I need a smaller mirror. I need glasses, guys. <laughs> Do I want them? No, I think it was all. Oh, and all my faux freckles went away. Cute. Yay. But my acne is still there. <laughs> Yay. So, cream gel liner for, oh, they're still kind of showing up. It looks like I'm trying to cover them, so I'm okay with this. I wish they would show up better, but whatever. What can you do? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Oh my god. <laughs> if I sing one more song, I'm going to be mad at myself. Not really, but I'm adding my phone to see the picture. Okay, so. That was the orangey blush that I just put down that I feel like she has. It's kind of pinky and I think that's red. Oh, hell of a now I'm, I feel like I'm colorblind, but <laughs> go figure, I like makeup. So I'm gonna take this orange right here on a brush like this and then go get my smaller mirror so I can see just right along the line that I created to end my makeup. But I'm going to notice that I'm not tapping off my brush before I'm putting it on my face. That is because I want all that pigment to be where I first initially put it, which is right there up against that line of supposedly where the end of my makeup is but I'm just fading this down. Again, I'll do the other eye off camera, so we will save some time. Just like this. And just really just blending it all together. Okay, so there's this. Let's do even more, right? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dip into that yellow and put that over it just to make it a little more vibrant. This is clearly not the picture, but <laughs> it's my interpretation. Or I'm at least trying to do it as best as I can. It's starting to look like mac and cheese. I'm so down. Since I have been eating a more plant-based diet, I've been missing mac and cheese. I don't miss meat. Okay, when I was younger, I barely even ate meat anyways. But, like when I got older, I started eating a lot more chicken and things like that. But when I was younger, I would pick out the pieces of, like, hamburger helper. I would eat only the noodles. And this is not what you guys are here for. Oh, stop. I'll stop. I want to go ahead and talk about the ladies in this collab because first and foremost, it is amazing that we can all come together and be supportive of one another. It's a huge thing to be supportive of, of one another. I'm going to just dip once into the red and bring it down my cheek and I'm going to use eyeshadow for the rest of my blush today. But again, like I said, it is so important for all of us to come together and really support one another and it's it's huge it's huge to support one another and I feel like that is so underestimated sometimes but okay so the collab people there is oh there's myself Dee Dee Quartet which I've been in co group collabs with her I've never done a collab one-on-one -on -one. Dee Dee, if you want to, please let me know. I'm down. Gold Star Work, Laura Wilson, how I love you so much. I just adore you and I hope you know that. We'll get into Laura. 
there is Beth. Oh, my sweet Beth. Oh, I love her. She's a teacher. I know she's out of work right now because of all of the shenanigans going on. Ugh. There's Nona, my Nona doll. How I love you so, so much. I hope you know this. I, I truly adore you. I love you, Nona. Okay. Next is Anya. Yay, Anya, my Power Puff sister. Yes. And then Purple Pink Red Eye Brianna, which I always leave purple pink red hearts for her every time I'm on her channel or I see her. I love her. I love, I really do all, love all the ladies in this collab, so I'm very, very, very excited to be a part of it. I'm thrilled to be involved, okay? Sometimes I don't get to be involved, but today I am. Okay, so I'm going to call the blush there. I Do I have a different colored blush? Um, possibly. Okay, I'm going to do this I almost put myself in the eye. I'm going to do this on this side and mascara. Mm, does she have any liner on? No. Yay! I don't have to do liner. <laughs> but it does look like she has green on the lower lash line. Alright, so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. Uh, put that orange blush. I don't recommend you doing this. I don't know if this is lip safe. So I'm doing it. You don't do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm putting that orange. It's just, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to flip you off because I'm not. So that orange right here on the center. And then on, because I do have regular lip liner. I have this NYX matte liquid, matte, matte suede, matte, lip, I don't know. <laughs> I'll put the name down here. Editing Kaylee is going to hate me. <laughs> she usually does. Because uh, filming Kaylee sucks. <laughs> Not really. I'm, I'm only giving myself a hard time. So, I'll be back. Okay, I am back. That took way longer than I care to admit because I am out of practice with putting on lashes and <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, since I knew Laura was in this club, I wanted to say, hey Laura, I'm using the lashes that you gave me. These are the Chi Chi Full Lash Natural Volume in the style Amber. Girl. <laughs> and then I got this lipstick from my friend Emily from Emily and Max. She will also be linked down below. She is not in this club, but this is the... Revlon Color Burst Matte Lip Balm in the shade I Need Glasses Audacious. Just audacious, not I need glasses. I need glasses. It's just in the center right there and then on the outer corners again is that matte cream suede lipstick. Also, I do have my own Franken highlight on today. This is a mixture of all kinds of things and it is super beautiful. I'm only trying to use up half of it. That's why you see a line down the center. Let me see. I think that is all I have to tell you, but I am in love with this look. Now, I have been feeling myself this entire video, and I realize that, and I realize that a company is closing, and that is so very, very unfortunate. It, and I truly, truly mean that from every bit of my being, because I want to be a business owner. That's why I'm in business school so it, it just it it's so surreal to see something that you have seen on the internet and you see them thriving and you see them killing it and doing all these amazing things and then all of a sudden they're closing it's so surreal so I, and I'm even smiling right now because it's just what <laughs> But I, I just, I want to let the company that know that you are in my prayers. You can always come back. Don't let this sit back, push you down. Come back and come back harder. Come back stronger. Learn your lessons and just keep at it. And don't ever, ever, ever give up. Especially in something that you're willing to put your life on your life on the line for, especially a company that is just, I know you guys are amazing. I've seen you guys, your guys' palettes. I, I saw you guys work with Paulina. Paulina is amazing. And I know if she stands behind you, so many other people will stand behind you like I do. 
So, like I said, I hope the absolute best for this company and their owner and I think it was only her working or maybe she had a few employees, but regardless, like I said, I don't know much about the company, but I want to see the best for you and I hope and pray that you're going to come back and you're going to come back even harder and shoot, I would love if you came back if I did a collab with you. I'm saying that as like, oh, I have 500 subscribers, everybody loves me. <laughs> I'm feeling myself with this look, clearly. <laughs> but thank you all for being here. Please, if you are not on a low buy or even are on your low buy and willing to risk your rules unlike I am, I have 60 palettes and clearly I can make a dupe for it. But <laughs> seriously, those of you that I know support so much and have such a giving heart, please go support and just give them love. Know that this is a most likely a terrible time for them and, and, and they're hurting and just if they're out there listening, I, I hope you know that you're in my thoughts and prayers and I hope the best for you, truly. So with all of that being said, thank you so much for being here. I, I want to go, I want to leave my house for this look. Like I'm in quarantine, but I'm going to leave. Like I would not ever, 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 ever normally leave. Oh, look, I have foundation that's not even mixed in. <laughs> and I still would have left, so I don't know, see? <laughs> that tells you a lot. So, <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful and fantastic day. Please go check out the other ladies. They're so amazing. I'm so thrilled to go and be watching them. Again, this is a terrible time and an unfortunate time, but we're all going through something in our lives and just be kind to one another. Be safe. Wash your hands. Use lotion because, you know, with how many times you wash your hands, you're going to need that lotion. So, please take care of yourself, and I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic day in quarantine. Bye. <laughs> I've been so into myself, I forgot bronzer. <laughs> Let's cover you up just a little bit. I'm feeling my side, though. Feeling myself, feeling more, feeling myself, feeling myself, I'm feeling more. Does anybody know Beyonce? We're related. <laughs> Roxanne, Roxanne, all she wants to do is party all night. <laughs> Thank you.